You guys, guess what happened today? It finally kicked in that we're having another baby. It kicked in today. We're 35 weeks in a couple of days. Nasty mold activated. I just want to get on here and say that this is probably the least amount of money I have ever spent at Target. I really do like this one. I've obviously felt very pregnant this whole time. Should be a reminder, but no, what actually did it for me is getting a new car seat. <laughs> Why? Why? It's so random that this guy is what made it real. But I'm so excited and I will share everything that we get that I'm excited about with you guys in the description below. But this Graco car seat is so freaking nice. It goes up. So like as they, as they grow, it grows with them. So I think, I mean, I have to check up until what age like you can have your kid here but i think it's up to like 10 years old something crazy like that so kaden is gonna be on his new car seat and our new baby which i will review the name once he's here um he will be in the car seat that has been kaden's this whole time they're both Gracos because we have the Graco stroller, which I think we're still looking to have the same brand, just not the same stroller and hopefully a much better stroller. Because as I mentioned in my latest video, we really did not like the stroller at all. So we're really excited to get a new stroller for that reason too. But yeah, this is really cool. Um, but once we have this installed in the car, I will, probably film it and show you guys what it actually looks like but i am loving it and i'm so excited so so far we have this car seat and we have his bassinet however my husband didn't really consult with me on the bassinet so i'm hoping it's the one that folds up however if it's not it's okay because we're not planning to have more kids so once we're done with the bassinet we will be selling it um however like i mentioned in my latest video if you don't have a lot of room in your bedroom and you plan on growing your family even more then it's nice to have one that folds up so that you can put it away have the extra room in the bedroom when you're not using it and also for storage purposes when you're done so i will be doing some nesting with you guys and this will be in different days so you're not going to see me with the same outfit or anything but nasty mold activated some of the things i'm trying to do this week is insert the car seat in our car so have this ready to go then also set up the best net that we got which i'll show you guys in this video i also need to switch um, our guest bedroom curtain to a blackout curtain i believe i have an extra one that was cadence um, so i'm gonna have to take it from one of his windows because he has a ton just because i got extras at the time and switch it to the guest room I want to wash all of the baby clothes um, which um, right now they're all organized so I feel so bad but I shouldn't have done that because I knew I had to wash it anyways so that is what we're doing right now to prepare for our new baby boys arrival in 
a month or less. We'll see. See you guys soon. There is an extra set here, which is why I'm taking it off and putting it in the guest room where eventually the new baby will be. And if you are pregnant, please do this safely or have someone do it for you. I should have probably waited for my husband to do this for me, but again, I felt okay with doing it myself, so I'm fine. I haven't felt dizzy, I haven't felt imbalanced, but obviously it is not advisable to get up on a chair and mess with curtains like I did. Next, we're setting up the best nap because I simply could not wait. And great news, the one that my husband bought was actually the one I've recommended to you guys in my previous video, the one that folds up. So that's really exciting and you guys will get to see what it looks like and I'll link it in the description below. so easy to set up literally anyone can do it a five-year-old can do it it's so easy it took me less than 10 minutes and i love it i love how it looks it's super cute and you also have this bottom area so if you wanted to store extra things you can use that for that purpose which is really cool i didn't have that last time so really excited for that too So the top you can close it with the straps you can leave one side open one side closed or both of them completely closed as i will show you guys in a minute so it's really up to your preference but i love that there are so many options here as well My husband is just like me. He cannot wait when he's excited. So we went ahead and installed the car seat already and we are obsessed. Later. I just want to get on here and say that this is probably the least amount of money I have ever spent at Target. I spent $32 total. I got the bat for the newborn, which I'll show you guys. That's something I wish I did the first time around Caden. And then I got a can of black beans, granola, and what else? I'm missing something. I got something else, but I'll let you guys know later, but yeah that's it so i mean not that it was a lot of stuff but i feel like anything you buy here is like a hundred dollars you know and i avoided a lot of things because i wanted to buy the whole store like everyone else hey guys i don't know how many days later this is this nesting thing with a toddler and my husband traveling back to back this month while I'm very pregnant, has been a lot more difficult than I thought. So Kaden is sleeping right now and we just got our swing delivered. And we also got the Graco one because pretty much, if you guys haven't realized by now, everything we get is from Graco and this is not sponsored or anything. We just really liked it last time. And again, I'm not sure why we sold it. Maybe it was for storage issues as well, but we had to get another one. So here we are. This is a different one. Um, it might even be cheaper. It was just like highly rated. So 
let's get this baby opened another thing i got which i will not do this today but what i didn't do last time was um prep myself lactation cookies so i'm going to try it this time around but i want to try it prior to the baby's arrival so i got the brewer's yeast powder which i have a recipe for um, i just have to get rolled oats and honey and i have the rest of the recipe here and i'll make some lactation cookies for me and i will share the recipe with you guys as well that's supposed to help with milk supply which was a big issue for me last time so i'm hoping that prepping ahead with things like that will help me also like it doesn't hurt to have it in the freezer so it's ready to go because i will be so tired uh, my i'm not gonna want to make them you know as easy as they are to make i'm not gonna want to make them so you just have to be realistic so yeah i will link everything down below for you guys too but yeah stay tuned for the recipe coming up <laughs> it i just need to insert batteries over there and there are multiple speeds over here that you can adjust you can also adjust the height but it's pretty small and it's this slim space so if you don't want to take up a lot of space this is perfect and yeah this is what it looks like and it was pretty easy to it was pretty easy to put together, to be honest. Okay, let me also show you guys the bat. Um, because I know I mentioned when I went to Target that I was going to show you and I never did. So, hold on one second. So, this is it. And before this, we had a huge tub I'm going to insert it here so you guys can see what I'm talking about, but this is really nice and small and it's zero to six months, max 20 pounds. I feel like after six months you can transition to the bat, to the actual bathtub. You can use this in a bathtub, but since we have a huge sink, I'll show you guys. You can actually... Just have it in the sink. So it's nice and easy and I feel like it's just easier in general. Cleanup is easier. The baby is more comfortable. All in all, I think this would be a 10 out of 10 compared to my last one. So really excited for this and it was only $20. So I got this at Target for $20. So yeah, I think that's the thing I would do differently this time around. And if you are a first time mom, I highly recommend just going with that and not anything else because you're going to save yourself so much money and 
it's just so much easier um, so that's that and then the last thing I think that we need to do right now is wash all of his clothes and then reorganize it again and as far as the stroller goes I'll put the stroller that we are eventually gonna get below we are getting the side-by-side -side double stroller instead of the top and under it's called or over and under um, after a lot of research and talking to a lot of parents we decided that the side-by-side -side is probably best so we found one that's highly rated we're gonna go with that but because initially I'm just gonna wear him and it's gonna be really hot here in Texas we're not really gonna go out for walks and he's not really gonna be like the side-by-side -side one is not truly for newborns I mean a lot of people do it but I'm not comfortable with it so um, we're gonna hold off on getting the stroller for now until then but I'll definitely link it below if you guys want to see what stroller we're going to eventually get but yeah that is it for now as far as nesting goes and next up I will show you guys my lactation cookies it hopefully comes out good because I've always liked how they taste but I've always tried other people's <laughs> I've never made it myself, so hopefully it's nice and easy, and hopefully it works too. So we'll see. I will see you guys soon. Hey guys, so it's the next day. Kaden is sleeping. I'm still solo managing the household, and I was going to bake the cookies and do the laundry today, but I forgot one ingredient. Again, pregnancy brain. I keep forgetting things all the time, but we are doing the laundry and what i came to realize when i saw um, the new baby's closet is that there's no point for me to do all of the the outfits that i have in there so for now i'm going to do newborn to three months and then once he outgrows those i will do the rest as they come just so they can always be fresh and clean versus just sitting in the closet um, which makes more sense and is less overwhelming. So that is my tip on that. And so I'm gonna do that right now. And uh, yeah, it's 6.38 p.m. I'm gonna do that, shower, and then make dinner, and then walk back, and then relax. So that is what we're doing. That is what we're checking off the list today. Okay, so I also wanted to show you guys the swing now that I have the battery on it. Basically, there's a button right over here and you just slide it up and it turns on. And as you can see, it's swinging. And then there are different speeds that you can do, so. That's the fastest. And that's the slowest I like it a lot it's simple it's very simple but I mean what else do you need right it's a swing and then you just turn it off and then you can adjust the height so over here there's one two and I believe three so you can it's at two right now you can adjust it here's the best part So you can just fold it up and you can put it away. Again, if you have a small space in your house, I would suggest doing that. And um, that's it really for now. So just wanted to show you guys that. So you kind of got the whole picture of the swing because I really do like the swing. Okay, let's hope the swing didn't break. My heart just stopped.
The swing is fine. There was just a little scratch at the top and the outfits are ready. Okay, so here we are. It's the next day and we are ready to make this lactation cookies. I hope this works. Like I said, I'll leave the recipe below if anyone wants to try it. And I'll definitely keep you guys posted, although I feel like it's hard to pinpoint what actually works and what doesn't. But let's get baking. <laughs> So this is what the consistency looks like and now we're just going to make some balls and put this in the freezer for 30 minutes. This is what they look like. Of course, I forgot the cinnamon. I don't know if that's gonna make a huge difference, but I'll let you guys know. Okay, so I think I'll conclude the video here. Thank you so much for coming along this journey with me. I I feel like we got a lot done. We got a lot done. I feel very accomplished. Um, there's not much else left, really. I've already packed the hospital bag. If you haven't watched that video, I'll link it below and yeah i'll let you guys know if the lactation cookies work and if they're good i'll put the recipe below so next to the recipe i'll let you guys know if i liked it or not i normally don't love sweets and it's very sweet based on the recipe but i think that that's kind of the point you need to have high calorie snacks um and i think it will be nice to just have it ready so I can just go and grab a little snack in the middle of the night if I need to, especially if breastfeeding works for me, which crossing fingers that it will this time around. So we shall see, but I'll definitely be taking you guys along with me in this journey. And thank you so much for being here. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with a mom friend, and I will see you next time.